Thank you very much. Uh, good morning, everyone, and, and welcome. Thank you so much for joining the Nature Conservancy of Canada and Ducks Unlimited Canada today as we celebrate a monumental conservation achievement in the prairies. Um, as mentioned, my name is Tom Lynch Staunton. I'm the Nature Conservancy of Canada Regional Vice President for Alberta. But before we get into the details of today's announcement, we would like to respectfully acknowledge that we are making this announcement from what we call Southern Alberta, which is Treaty 7 territory. The traditional and ancestral lands of the Siksika Sitapi, comprised of the Siksika, Gaina, Pagani, and Amskapi Pagani. This is also the traditional and ancestral lands of the Sutina First Nation, the Stokoni, Stony Nakoda First Nation, including Chiniki, Bears Paw, and Good Stony First Nations, and within the Metis Nation of Alberta Region 3. We are grateful for the knowledge keepers and elders who are with us today and for those who have gone before us. Before we go on, a note to the members of the media, there is a Zoom, Zoom room set up for you. So, so we ask that you ask the participants questions at the end of the program. Uh, you should have received a link in the media advisory sent yesterday. And if you don't have the link or are having trouble assess, ass, accessing the Zoom room, please email media at natureconservancy.ca and we can help you out. Okay, so I'm so pleased to welcome you on a wonderful journey to a storied, iconic and sprawling ranch in the Southern Alberta Prairie grasslands, the McIntyre Ranch, where bird song fills the air, grazing mammals roam the landscape and deep grass roots anchor the ecosystem in the earth. Joining us today for the journey are Catherine Grenier, President and CEO of the Nature Conservancy of Canada, Michael Nadler, CEO of Ducks Unlimited Canada, Ralph Thrall III, President and CEO of McIntyre Ranching Company Limited, the Honourable Joseph Scow, MLA for Cardston Siksika and Alberta's new Minister of Tourism and Sport, Mr. Terry Duguid, Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Environment and Climate Change Canada, and Ducks Unlimited Canada's Manager of Alberta Operations, Torsten Hebben, will also join us for the question and answer period at the end of the show. With today's announcement, we are conserving and making history. To tell you all about it, I'm going to pass things over to Catherine and Michael. Hi, Michael. Catherine, and welcome to everyone joining us today. Before we start, I'd like to uh, recognize the land we're all tuning in from today. I'm here in Calgary, joining from the Treaty 7 territory. At NCC, we're committed in working in allyship with Indigenous people in a spirit of truth, reconciliation, and reciprocity. We have deep appreciation for the histories, language, and culture of the people who have stewarded the land from time immemorial, and we're thankful for their continuous presence and guidance today. As we share uh, in this announcement from many places across Canada, I invite you all to take a moment to reflect on the place from which you join us and on our collective responsibility for the stewardship of the land on which we live, work, and play. Thank you, Catherine. And for my part, let me express my gratitude to be joining all of you today from the traditional and unceded territory of the Algonquin and Anishinaabe peoples. I'm in Ottawa, at the confluence of the Ottawa, Rideau, and Gatineau rivers, and this is a place of great cultural and ecological significance, and we acknowledge that Indigenous people have been its stewards since time immemorial. Today, like Tom said, we're celebrating history on many fronts. Canada's two largest conservation organizations have come together to launch the biggest private conservation project ever undertaken in the Canadian prairies. Thanks to a landmark agreement between the owners of McIntyre Ranch, the Troll family, NCC and Ducks Unlimited Canada, one of the last privately held tracts of undisturbed temperate grasslands in North America will be conserved forever for nature and for people. Colleagues, the conservation agreement that we are unveiling today will protect more than 22,000 hectares of one of Canada's most at-risk ecosystems, prairie grasslands. And scattered throughout these amazing grasslands are more than 3,600 wetland basins. 
The prairie wetlands of McIntyre Ranch sustain countless waterfowl, as well as populations of other migratory birds that travel across the entire continent each year in the spring and the fall. These wetlands also play an important role for clean water and for mitigating severe weather. Because grassland and wet, grasslands and wetlands are ecosystems that work together, the combination of habitats found at McIntyre Ranch form an ecological powerhouse. And we are deeply grateful to be protecting these habitats through the historic conservation partnership being announced today. This win for nature has global significance. When we think of the world's most endangered ecosystem, we don't often think of our own backyards. Our grasslands that once covered much of the continent. Today, there's less than 20% remaining, making these ecosystems not only some of the most threatened on the planet, but also one of the least protected. Often overlooked, these grasslands are critical for biodiversity and for climate change. You can think of them as upside down forests. Instead of branches tangling up high into the skyscraping canopy, here their roots dive deep into the soil. And it's this fast root system that it's through these systems that they find their superpowers, the power to catch and release water supplies, protecting against flood and drought, the power to capture and fix carbon to counter climate change, and the power to grow livelihood and support prosperous communities. The scale and impact of this project are hard to imagine if you haven't seen or walked on the land. The ranch is located south of Lethbridge and covers an area one quarter the size of Calgary. This remarkable place is one of the of one of only three unglaciated areas in all of the Canadian prairies, supporting a unique collection of flora and fauna that have persisted and adapted here for more than 100,000 years. Across its unique wetlands and grasslands, you will find thriving populations of waterfowl, as well as a number of at-risk species, including the barn swallow, the American badger, and the short-eared owl. At the same time, other iconic Canadian wildlife, including elk, pronghorn, and even the occasional grizzly bear, traverse this unique landscape beneath the big blue prairie skies. But enough talking about this inspiring place, let us show it to you. With the conversion of grasslands, we've got about 24% of our temperate grasslands left on the Canadian prairies. The species that depend on the grasslands are losing their homes. 75 to 85% of our species at risk live in our grasslands. A lot of times people think that we can have just these little remnant postage stamps of habitat and species will be okay. That's not true. A lot of them depend on large contiguous blocks of that ecosystem to be able to survive. The opportunity with McIntyre Ranch, it's one of the largest ranches in Alberta that will have the opportunity to help conserve forever. This family is very focused on leaving a legacy, ensuring that after they're gone, this land will remain intact. Listening to the peacefulness, seeing the raw natural beauty that this land offers, help me understand on the one hand, how insignificant I am in the grand scheme of things, and yet it's also helped me to realize I do play a role in preserving it, and, and it's an important role, because together we can do good things. The Nature Conservancy of Canada and Ducks Unlimited Canada are working together to conserve the McIntyre Ranch. Right now, you have an opportunity to make conservation history and create a lasting legacy that will help protect the prairies for generations. Michael, you mentioned how there's nothing like experiencing firsthand, but I have to say this video is showing the scale and how stunning this landscape is. As we heard on the video, there's less than a third of Alberta's original grassland that still remain. So across the prairie, we're losing 60,000 hectares, or for some of you that may think more in section, that's more than 230 section every year. When you break it down, that means that by the end of today's show, we will, by the end of the show right now, we would have lose about four football fields. And between now and the end of tomorrow, there'll be another 260. 
Prairie wetlands also face similar threats. In fact, up to 70% of wetlands have already been lost in southern areas of Canada. So conserving the McIntyre Ranch pushes back against this loss. It's a monumental step to stop biodiversity loss, and it came about thanks to the vision from the ranch's longtime owners, the Troll family. The family's longtime stewardship of this landscape and their desire to collaborate with NCC and Ducks Unlimited Canada is what, what made this opportunity once in a lifetime possible. Their thoughtfulness has helped conserve these lands for the benefits of everyone. I'm really pleased today to be joined by McIntyre Ranching Company's limited CEO, Ralph Troll III. Ralph, please share with us a bit about what made this land so special. Good morning. Thank you, Catherine. It's great to be here and thanks to everyone for joining us. I know there have been many special occasions in the 129 year history of the McIntyre Ranch and surely this must be one of the most momentous ones. In 1894, William McIntyre began the legacy to conserve grassland in a sustainable manner and the McIntyre family maintained that approach for their 53 years of ownership. When our grandfather, Ralph Thrall, purchased the property 76 years ago from Billy McIntyre's estate, he adopted that balance with nature philosophy, and that legacy has continued through four generations in the Thrall family. As Ralph Thrall III, I grew up believing that Ralph Thrall is someone who takes care of the McIntyre ranch, and that has resulted in me doing so for the last 36 years. It's been a privilege, an honor, and an amazing journey to have played the lead role for, of caring for the ranch, for our family, and for the environment. The idea of a conservation easement on the ranch started with Nature Conservancy Canada over 30 years ago. And three years ago, in the spring of 2020, we dedicated our efforts to making it happen. The easement presented by NCC was unique, and it required considerable time and effort to, uh, from everyone involved to get it right. Our dad taught us that things worthwhile are done neither quickly nor easily. And in consideration of this, we know this ac accomplishment is worthwhile. Our dad also taught us that to whom much is given, much is expected. I know that the McIntyres, our grandparents and our parents would be very proud of us. And on behalf of my siblings, Aaron, Eric, and Chris, their families and mine, I am honored to express our excitement, pride, and gratitude for this achievement. We're very proud of, of the collaborative effort between NCC, DUC, and our family to establish a conservation unit on the McIntyre Ranch that will conserve it forever. The process has been very rewarding and has resulted in a win-win agreement that will have very little impact on how the ranch is historically operated. Furthermore, our partnership with NCC and DUC through the creation of a stewardship management plan will assist us in our goal of making the McIntyre Ranch the best it can be. A handful of years ago, I had to come up with a slogan for an advertising banner, and I was quite proud of what I came up with. The McIntyre Ranch, preserving native grassland and wildlife habitat. I believe this is the essence of the McIntyre Ranch, and it very much aligns with the values and goals of NCC and DUC. Grazing, less, grazing the grasslands conserves our environment and maintains species diversity, just as, it, just as it did when millions of bison once roamed the plains. And just like the bison almost completely disappeared, one thing our mom taught us is, it could all be gone tomorrow. This helped us to be grateful for the things we have. I think of this because, as Catherine pointed out, grasslands are disappearing at an alarming rate. This is happening largely because it is so easy to convert grasslands to cropland and because farming is more lucrative than the diminishing margin economics of raising cattle and bison. Grasslands are every bit as important to the sustainability of this planet as our oceans <clears throat> and our rainforests and understanding this is why we have chosen to preserve the grasslands of the McIntyre Ranch. 
someday I'd like to write a book and I anticipate the title of it to be Matters of Degree, Striving for Balance. I firmly believe the challenge for humankind is to strike a balance between people's needs and conserving the planet's natural resources. I have hope and confidence by working together that balance will be achieved. Thank you, Nature Conservancy Canada. Thank you, Ducks Unlimited Canada. Thank you to our provincial and federal governments. And thank you to all the people who have supported and continue to support the preservation of the grasslands of our wonderful country. Thank you so much, Ralph, and to your entire family for your vision and your patience and uh, holding dear those conservation values that allow us to do a conservation project like this. Um, today, I want to also acknowledge um, the crucial role played by um, Alberta's Land Stewardship Fund and the Alberta Land Trust Grant Program in supporting conservation projects like the McIntyre Ranch. This provincial grant program has been instrumental for many years in preserving and protecting our natural heritage through the province. I'm pleased to announce the Honourable Joseph Scow, MLA for Cardston Siksika, and Alberta Minister for Tourism <coughs> and Sport, who will share a few words about the importance of land conservation and the significant impact of this program. Over to you, Minister. Well, thank you very much and good morning. Uh, as I said, my name is Joseph Scow, and I'm the MLA for Karsten Siksika and went to high school just a stone's throw away from McIntyre Ranch in McGrath, Alberta. I'm also the newly appointed Minister of Tourism and Sport. And I want to begin by extending my uh, warmest greetings to everyone on behalf of the government of Alberta. One of the greatest honors I have as a member of the Legislative Assembly is visiting with farm families across my constituency who work each day to grow and raise the food we eat. And in some instances, that unfortunately is becoming more and more rare each year. I have the pleasure of presenting uh, the Century Farm Award to families that have maintained the farm uh, or farms that have been around for over 100 years. What's most unique about this award when I present it is the opportunity I have to hear the stories from each of the families going back to the humble beginnings of the farm or the ranch and the rich history that they're a part of. And these are farms and families that built this province and laid the foundation for our way of life. And at 129 years old, the McIntyre Ranch is a central pillar of Alberta's storied history. And with today's monumentous announcement, and thanks to the Thrall family, this ranch will be part of our future for generations to come. And I'm very excited about that and pleased to be part of today. I'm also uh, happy to be a part of this announcement and see Nature Conservancy of Canada, Ducks Unlimited, uh, joined together with the McIntyre Ranch to conserve one of the largest remaining tracts of prairie grasslands and wetlands in Canada, while also ensuring that McIntyre Ranch remains a strong cattle, uh, working cattle ranch and pillar of Alberta's agriculture community. So in closing, I do want to thank uh, Ducks Unlimited Canada, Nature Conservancy of Canada, the Thrall family who own and operate this spectacular ranch for making this partnership a reality along with many others who played an important role, including the government of Alberta's land trust programs. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Minister. Today, we'd also like to thank the government of Alberta for their invaluable, or sorry, the government of Canada as well, for their invaluable support of this monumental and historic project through the Natural Heritage Conservation Program. Their unwavering commitment to conservation has paved the way for this remarkable initiative, as well as many others across the Canadian prairies and across Canada. With great pleasure, I would like to introduce you to Mr. Terry Duguid, Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Environment and Climate Change Canada, who will share a few words about their support and significance of this project. Mr. Duguid, over to you. Well, thank you, uh, Tom. Good mor morning, everyone. And uh, it's great to be uh, with all of you for this uh, really fantastic uh, uh, announcement. Uh, great to join Minister Scow and so many um, eminent uh, conservationists, particularly those interested in prairie conservation. And uh, what a wonderful announcement, uh, announcing today uh, the protection of a, a very unique uh, prairie landscape, uh, the largest uh, grassland uh, protection uh, project uh, in 
in Canadian history, the McIntyre Ranch, and, and a, a special shout out uh, to the Thrall family uh, for their for their leadership and and commitment uh, to uh, conservation, uh, not only in Alberta but uh, across uh, the country. And I'm I'm joining you uh, here from uh, from Winnipeg, which is on Treaty One territory, the homeland of the Red River Métis. And I'd uh, also like to thank the Nature Conservancy of Canada and Ducks Unlimited Canada for hosting uh, this very very important uh, event. Uh, conserving nature has always been an important part of our plan for Canada. Uh, for our climate, for our culture, for the many species that call our natural spaces home. But of course, it's more than a plan. It's a, an important part of our identity. And yet nature itself in Canada and around the world is under threat. That's why the Government of Canada is taking action and making unprecedented investments in the conservation and protection of our natural landscapes and waters. Back in December at uh, COP, 15, uh, we led the United Nations to adopt the Kunming Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework. I know that's a mouthful, but uh, we were opening a, a new chapter for nature conservation and biodiversity protection around the world with a goal of protecting at least 30% of lands and waters by 2030 in full partnership with Indigenous peoples. The Government of Canada has also made significant investments to work uh, toward a healthier, greener future and a more resilient economy by protecting old growth forests and the species at risk within them and restoring forests, soils, wetlands, grasslands, croplands, peatlands and oceans that capture and store carbon while supporting biodiversity. We understand that protecting and conserving nature is one of the most important steps we can do to halt and reverse biodiversity loss while also fighting climate change and advancing reconciliation. But we would not be where we are uh, today without uh, partnerships, uh, partnerships with other governments like the government of Alberta, uh, the private sector, indigenous peoples and local communities, and with the NCC and Ducks Unlimited Canada, our host today. Today, I'm pleased to announce that the Government of Canada has provided more than $4.1 million under the Natural Heritage Conservation Program for this project. Programs uh, like the Natural Heritage Con Conservation Program that establishes new and conserved areas by working with partners across Canada uh, contribute uh, to protecting lands and play a vital role in helping to halt and reverse biodiversity loss while contributing to the recovery of species at risk. Private land securement uh, co contributes to making progress towards our goal of conserving a quarter of lands and a quarter of oceans in Canada by 2025, while working toward 30% by 2030, especially uh, in areas of particular importance for biodiversity and ecosystem services like the prairies. The Government of Canada also works with land trusts on programs such as the Ecological Gifts Program to provide tax incentives to Canadians who donate ecologically sensitive land. We are proud of our long-standing relationship with the NCC and the incredible work done together so far. On a personal note, I'm a prairie boy. I lived here uh, on the prairies most of my life and all land conservation efforts are important, but preserving native prairie grassland is special to me, it's special to my community, it's special to our country. So we look forward to continuing this partnership and I can't wait to see how much more we can achieve together. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Duguid. As we wrap up today's event, I would like to thank the Government of Alberta and the Government of Canada for their unwavering support of this project, Conservation in Alberta and Conservation Across Canada. And to Minister Scow and Parliamentary Secretary Terry Duguid for joining us today. Your commitment to conservation is truly remarkable. McIntyre Ranch not only holds immense ecological value, but it, it is also a shining example of Western ranching culture and the ranching economy. And we can have both sustainable land stewardship and ranching, as well as conservation and biodiversity outcomes. Sustainable grazing has proven time again to be vital to the long-term conservation grasslands as they evolved with grazing pressure. 
Through responsible grazing, we can ensure the future of this delicate ecosystem while also supporting ranching and the ranching economic model. As we have heard, the dedication to stewardship at McIntyre Ranch goes back generations and continues to this day. And none of this would have been possible again without the commitment, vision, and generosity of the Thrall family. Their passion for the land and commitment to conservation and stewardship have set an inspiring example for all of us. And thank you to them for their tireless efforts in making this project possible. Today we stand though at a critical juncture. While progress has been made, NCC still needs to raise an additional 3 million to complete this fantastic project. And we're, we're creating this call to action for all of you to and encourage you to get involved in prairie grasslands conservation. I implore each and every one of you to help join in this cause, whether it be through individual contributions, corporate sponsorships, or by spreading the word, or by getting out on nature and volunteering and raising awareness. Conservation is not a one person task, but this is a collective responsibility and a whole of society approach. Together, as we have shown in this remarkable partnership, we have the power to make a lasting impact on the land that we cherish. And together we can preserve the McIntyre Ranch and protect its unique ecological value and cultural heritage. I'm gonna soon pass things over to the media question and answer portion of the program hosted by NCC's Sean Fagan. So to close things out, once again, thank you so much to the government of Alberta and government of Canada, our other partners and supporters who have already donated to the project, and of course, to the Thrall family um, for all that you do and all your unwavering support. Let us rise to the occasion and secure the future of the McIntyre Ranch and a sanctuary of nature and a testament to our commitment to sustainable land stewardship. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tom. We have 15 minutes for questions today. Media have received access to a separate Zoom link sent yesterday in an advisory so that all viewers can hear questions live and listen to our participants' answers as well. If you're a reporter but aren't currently in the Zoom room but would like to ask a question, please email media at natureconservancy.ca now and we will send you the link to join. For media members, please use the raise hand function in Zoom to ask a question. When asking your question, please first state your name, media outlet, and to whom you are directing your question. As a reminder, we have several panelists available to answer questions live now. Tom Lynch Staunton, Regional Vice President with NCC, Catherine Grenier, President and CEO of NCC, Michael Nadler, CEO of Ducks Unlimited Canada, Torsten Hebben, Ducks Unlimited Canada's Manager of Alberta Operations, Ralph Thrall III, CEO of McIntyre Ranching Company Limited, the Honorable Joseph Scow, Minister of Tourism and Sport and MLA for Cardston Siksika, Terry Duguid, Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Environment and Climate Change. And if we run over time, please feel free to email media at natureconservancy.ca and we'll arrange interviews afterwards. With that, I'll open things up to questions. Uh, Alex McKaig, I, I see you have a, uh, a hand raised. I will pass it over to you. Uh, thanks. Uh, sorry, just to clarify, do we get two questions or one? Uh, you can go I, ahead with, with both your questions. Okay. I, I guess my, my first, I've got two questions, and, and uh, I guess my first is uh, regarding uh, Ralph Thrall. You mentioned uh, 30 years. It's been an ongoing discussion regarding um, uh, this project and uh, some of the unique challenges and, and uh, provisions, I think, uh, of this conservation easement. Can you talk a little bit about um, some of those unique aspects of this uh, easement? I sure can. Uh, thanks for the question. I, I think first off, uh, it started 30 years ago, uh, Larry Simpson, um, one of the things Larry Simpson said it could take years to accomplish. So we've achieved that, and I think uh, 
the exercise for me was was recognizing what NCC was trying to simplify for the years that they've had these easements. It's to simplify them and make them more efficient and effective. And that's where the journey started. And I think we've really spent a lot of time coming up with a, a really a win-win document uh, for all parties involved. Uh, thanks. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, I'll just say, Alex, do you have a follow-up there? Yeah, and maybe this is for the minister, and I, and I know I understand you're you're new in the role, but uh, you are familiar with the area. Uh, and I guess it's regarding conservation easements as a whole. And uh, you know, there was an RMA resolution uh, earlier this year regarding putting a time limit uh, for conservation easements in Alberta. Um, is that something that the provincial government is currently considering? Well, thank you for the question, and uh, and I appreciate the interest in this topic. With regards to the motion, I, I would have to look at it in greater detail. I'm not familiar with it off the top of my head. But what I would say is this, uh, when it comes to conservation easements like this one, uh, I am really excited about the fact that it uh, will maintain the integrity of the land and allow them to continually ranch uh, cattle in southern Alberta. It's part of our fabric. It's part of uh, you know the families that have been here for generations uh, lay a foundation for what we know as Southern Alberta today. And I'm grateful for their sacrifice and their their commitment to uh, to feeding the province, feeding the country. And so uh, days like today are very happy for me because it tells me that agriculture will continue to be a, uh, a strong part of, of Southern Alberta's culture and heritage. And I'm grateful for the Thrall family and everyone else involved in today's announcement for, uh, for their commitment to that. Thanks. Great. Um... I, just as a reminder, if, if uh, each reporter could just introduce themselves and um, tell us what uh, outlet you are representing. Uh, Alois Therian, I have um, a question from you. Hi there. Yes, it's Eloise Therian with uh, Global News in Lethbridge, Alberta. Um, I suppose this question would be for either Tom or Catherine. I'm hoping that someone can maybe expand on what conservation actually looks like just for those of us who uh, aren't, you know, as familiar with the ins and outs of a project like this. Um, so kind of just explaining kind of the on the ground work that will happen as a result of this partnership. Tom, would you like to field that one? Sure. Thank you very much, Sean. And thank you for the question. Um, yeah, so um, conservation easements are partnerships with with uh, typically when it comes to grasslands with ranchers who are still raising cattle uh, on the landscape, cattle, the main livestock. Um, what this looks like, so when we do a conservation easement with a ranch, we are trying to look at protecting the natural capital on that landscape. So in the McIntyre Ranch case, um, over 90% is native rough fescue grassland uh, interspersed with many natural wetlands. And so we create the easement so that those will not be ever converted to, to another use, whether that's development or to uh, cultivation. So we're keeping those intact. But what comes with that is also stewardship. So for every project we do with a rancher, uh, we also raise a stewardship endowment fund. And that helps support stewardship projects on ranches uh, to also, whether it's maintain the health, if it's already healthy, or help improve the health of the ranch land, as well as uh, projects like restoration. So if the McIntyre Ranch wants to um, work on some of these stewardship projects, that's where us and Ducks Unlimited Canada can provide time and resources to help um, on that ongoing stewardship and, and perhaps if there's restoration to be done on the landscape. So that would be sort of the long-term commitment because this is a long-term partnership. Um, but it also still allows the ranch to maintain ranching as a sustainable use of that, of that landscape as cattle or other livestock graze the landscape. Torsten, I'm wondering if you would like to add to that um, about Ducks Unlimited Canada's role in um, conserving and stewarding this landscape. Uh, sure. Thanks, Sean. Um, I think 
Tom did an exceptional job of, of describing the uh, requirements and expectations in terms of the long-term stewardship, the relationship to, uh, to the conservation easement, um, and the sort of collaborative management that takes place um, perpetually under the terms of the, the easement agreement. So um, one of the things that we'll be looking to do is establish a conservation plan whereby we work collaboratively again between Ducks Unlimited of Canada, Nature Conservancy, and the Thrall family to identify stressors and needs over time and address those effectively such that the habitat lands are, are maintained in their current state, which is exactly what we're trying to accomplish. Uh, recognizing that the Thrall family and their predecessors have done such an exceptional job of maintaining the habitat, of stewarding the lands, um, we want to ensure that we are able to maintain that uh, over time. And that partnership uh, and the time that we allocate towards it, the resources that we invest will, will help ensure that the, not only that those grasslands remain intact, but also that the, the wetlands uh, remain in their current state and continue to provide their current ecosystem services, which of course, from the Ducks Unlimited point of view, is is of, of particularly um, high priority. Excellent. Um, I have a question from Al Bieber. Al, uh, if you could go ahead. Hi, Ralph. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, Ralph. It's Al Bieber from La Portero. Hey, I have a question just for our readers. I mean, my dad used to help keep the power on down there when he was at Calgary Power. But just for our readers, can you just give us an idea of how sprawling the ranch itself is for people who may not be familiar? Well, that's, uh, that's a good one. I, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to accomplish that. Uh, I'll do my best. Al, thanks. I, I huh, Sprawling. Um, I know once you get out into it, it feels like it is sprawling and it sort of goes on and on, you know, and at the same time, it is a finite space. Uh, approximately that area is, is a nine mile by 10 mile area. So, oh gosh, I don't know, what, what is it? Uh, going from the far side of the east side of Lethbridge to the west, far west side of Lethbridge and, um, Al, I'm not sure how, how much I can, how much more I can help you with that. Uh, hey, that's okay. I just want to give readers an idea, you know, so a lot of people aren't really familiar who don't travel that way, you know, or. Yeah, understood. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, congratulations and uh, thanks a lot. Thanks. Ralph, Keith, thank you very much. Ralph, I'm wondering when you, when you go out onto the ranch, how long does it take you to drive to one side to the other? Well, speed is a factor, but if you're going at a safe one. Uh, it, it can take, uh, uh, you know, it can take an hour and a half from, you know, uh, kitty corner to kitty corner. Uh, we've got, you know, some, you know, some roads, loosely, loosely based roads, some trails, uh, mostly trails that are pretty rough and tough. So uh, it's, 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 you know, doing a, a, an internal loop around some of those roads and trails can take a few hours. Interesting. Depends um, how many times we've got to stop and take pictures. Yeah, well, uh, I've seen some of your photography and uh, yeah, it's very impressive. Uh, Elise, do you have a follow-up question? Yes, I did. Sorry, just one quick follow-up. Um, hoping, and I, I'm not sure who's best to answer this, but just going into the, the cost and timeline of this project as well, I, I know that the $3 million um, that's required to finish this is kind of being asked today, but um, if someone could maybe just explain the total cost and, and uh, yeah, the timeline as well, that would be great. Tom, would you like to handle that question, please? Yes, absolutely. Um... Uh, unfortunately, we we um, can't we don't want to disclose the cost of the project. Um, um, uh, McIntyre Ranch has asked that we keep this private, um, and but I, what I can say is um, this is one of the largest projects we've done um, before, and that's also partly why we partnered with Ducks Unlimited Canada to do this. And so um, we're very fortunate that we've been able to have already. Um, through private fundraising and through um, uh, the Thrall family as well, um, and through uh, the both both the governments of Alberta and Canada to contribute, where we only have a three million dollar gap for such a remarkable 
and um, magnus magnificent project. Great. Do we have any other questions um, that you would like to ask our panel? Please raise your hand if you do. I am seeing no other questions. Um, so with that, I think we would like to wrap things up. Um, thank you everyone for your participation, your interest, your passion, and your support. We're thrilled to have been able to celebrate the launch of this project with you today. If you'd like more information about the project, please visit conservemcintyreranch.ca. And thanks everyone and have a great day.